The hype for the upcoming high school football season continued across the East Alabama community today. The 10 football playing schools in Talladega County held its ninth annual football media day at Shaco Springs. For obvious reasons, this session was a bit different in many ways, but also a lot of things remain the same as teams prep for the year. Preseason practice started last Monday, so teams have acclimated to the new coaching and practicing during this very difficult time. We're approaching each day as, as a precious gift from the Lord. You know, we, we, we talk every day that um, we're not certain what tomorrow is going to bring, so we need to make sure that today we're doing everything we can possibly do to uh, fulfill this day and, and make it the best day we can be. The summer's been, you know, different to say the least. We've never been through what we've been going through, but, um, you know, the thing about being a football player is we had a lot of kids in there working, getting better. But the thing about being a football player is you think adversity turning into excellence. Our kids are going to learn to do that. The sanitizing and the wiping down and the social distancing and the mask, and um, it, it puts a lot of added stress on on us as coaches, on, on myself as athletic director, to make sure that those things are done. But they are things that have to be done uh, in order for us to proceed as normal as possible. Unlike last year, there was not a lot of coaching turnaround in the county. However, there are a trio of new head coaches. Childersburg's Johnny Johnson, first year head coach Skylar Mansfield over at Winterboro High School, and former Alabama quarterback Andrew Zhao, who's now at Sylacauga, all say they're ready for the new changes. Big honor is a blessing, you know, to be able to do things there and uh, show the community that we're going to put the work in and uh, try to lead in the right way, you know, try to get the uh, community to buy in, uh, the community to buy in and the kids to buy in, you know, get the teacher on board to help us out when things we need. But, hey, we're looking for a great year. I uh, hope everything works out so we'll be able to play and they can see the work we've been putting in. I felt like I could I could stay there till I retire. But, you know, once I got that mindset, it was like um, God, God's speaking, saying, look, it's time for you to um, excel. You've paid your dues. It's time for you to uh, move up. I think we're good. I, I think our guys are really picked up. And, they, and, and I, we, I was sort of asking that question as we, we came over. Um, these guys have really bought into what we're selling. Um, we got some things that they, they may not have done in the past, but I think they're excited about it. And I think that they've uh, they really bought in to um, getting, getting some guys the ball. We'll go in depth with individual team previews over the coming days and weeks as the high school football season draws near kickoff of the 2020 campaign set for Thursday, August the 20th.